How's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now and I really do appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. We all know that democratic anti-gun cities and states will try everything they can do to stop law-abiding citizens from owning firearms. Of course they like to pass unconstitutional laws and then they also try to make it harder for law-abiding citizens to own guns by adding taxes or extra fees when purchasing guns or ammunition. And no surprise, the state of New York is now one of those states. We all know you have to undergo a federal background check to buy a gun in New York in every other state. But soon you'll have to go through a background check every time. You want to buy ammunition as well. Starting next month, you'll have to pay for those background checks too. And they're not doing this because it's going to stop gun crimes or criminals from getting guns. It's all about New York State taking in more money and also making it harder for a normal citizen to purchase guns and ammunition. In the state of New York and most other states, before a gun shop can sell anyone a gun, a federal background check must be done. The NICS check run by the FBI typically handles those background checks. But soon, New York State will step in as a middleman. New York State is taking over the NICS background check for firearms, and they're implementing it for ammo also. Gun dealers will no longer go through the FBI. They'll go through the New York State Police. So if it's going to be the same background check as if gun dealers went straight through the FBI. So why is the state police taking it over? As I mentioned, part of it is they're charging for it, so of course it's the money. And as I also mentioned, making it harder for most law-abiding citizens to be able to purchase those guns and ammunition. Right now, there is no charge to the customer for a background check. But when the troopers take it over, it will cost $9 for a new gun purchase. But here's where it really hits somebody in the pocketbook. And a $2.50 charge anytime you buy ammunition for that gun or any other gun you might already have. If you shoot for sport, skeet, and things like that, it is going to definitely get expensive. And it depends on how you buy the ammunition. Are you going to buy 1,000 rounds, 2,000 rounds, or 10,000 rounds? It depends on how much you're going to buy. And even the gun and ammunition dealers in the state don't know if they're going to put a limit on that. And these gun shops are supposed to be trained by September 13th. That's when the target date is supposed to start. And when some gun shops were asked if they've got any communication when the training would begin, they said not at all. A spokesperson for the New York State Police, that upon receiving a request from a licensed gun dealer for a gun purchase, the Division of State Police will contact the National Criminal Background Check System to initiate a background check similar to what's going on right now. Dealer training documents will be posted to the NYSP website and dealer registration in the New York State background check system will begin in the next couple of weeks. And NYSP says September 13th is still the anticipated start date. The New York State Police is continuing to develop an appeals process for people who feel they've been unfairly denied. The state legislation requiring New York State to perform background checks for both firearm and ammunition transfers also mandates a fee to be charged for each transaction and requires that money to be used to fund the expenses incurred by the New York State Police to perform the checks, the $9 fee for gun background transactions, and the $2.50 fee for ammunition background transactions will be used to do that. The New York State Police was asked if there would be any limitation of the number of rounds of ammunition a person can buy per transaction, and they said there wouldn't be. So with that said, if somebody has the money to do so, it's better to buy in bulk than buying one box of ammunition or a couple of boxes of ammunition. But that still puts a big burden, especially in this economy, for the average law-abiding citizen to purchase the ammunition they need for self-defense. Thus, like I said earlier in the video, making it harder and harder for the law-abiding citizen to be able to protect themselves and making it easier for the criminals to prey on those people. As always, I would really like to hear your thoughts about the story in the comment section down below. And I appreciate everybody's support with the channel. You guys are always crushing it by liking, sharing, and subscribing, and hitting those post notifications. And I invite everybody back to see my next video.